Hey folks, time for a Q&A. And we're really going to address one question here, but it was a really good one that came in, and that is, what is the scariest aspect of the entire solar micronova process? And in my mind, that is where ever the nova shell hits Earth, we have the possibility for basically a cosmic thunderbolt. This is the stuff that Robert Schock has talked about. Basically an arc discharge down from the sky due to the electrification, the energization of the sky. Now, this is what it normally looks like when a coronal mass ejection hits the earth. We get a compression of the sun facing fields and uh, particles are funneled to the polar region and it creates the auroras while the uh, L-shell magnetic field arcs are energized. In the Carrington event, it is thought that this energized and pushed down all the way to the lowest level L-shell magnetic fields, which you're gonna see here. And this is really dangerous because if it pushes down any more than this or gets super energized at this level, you really have the potential for too much energy to be in that lowest level L-shell. And when you have too much energy there, you do have a, and or too much compression downwards towards the surface. You have the potential for what they believe a magnetar like discharge actually is, where it actually finds it more convenient, the electricity does, to arc straight down rather than follow the field lines, basically with the ability to crack the surface of the magnetar star, or in this case, our planet. This is definitely a scary scenario uh, for those who believe in electric geology uh, or some of the other burned uh, features that are here on this planet. This is an excellent explanation for that. We do believe we know which part of the world is gonna take it this time. Uh, and that would be somewhere over the West Pacific. You know, for reasons we don't necessarily understand, the area that takes the flash and the area that takes the Nova Shell impact seem to be going around the world in a pattern. And this is very observable, and the evidence is such that it's very convincing, even though we don't know the exact physical mechanism that is causing it to basically tick around the planet in a predictable manner. It's much like how ancient, ignorant civilizations who didn't understand anything about the way the earth or the sun works when it was daytime they sure knew night was coming and when it was nighttime they sure knew daylight would be only a few hours away and so there are circumstances and i just gave you a very simple and easy one where if the pattern if the evidence is repeating enough and obvious enough you don't necessarily need to know all the mechanics i would love to know the mechanics of why uh, it does seem to be taking around the planet like that but essentially we know that last time Asia took the flash and the Americas took the shell impact and it is moving to the West every time. So we do believe that Europe and Africa are gonna take the flash this time and the West Pacific is going to take that Nova shell discharge, uh, the arc discharge down from the sky, what they call the cosmic thunderbolt, what Robert Schock believes, um, you know, is a great candidate for some of the burning that is seen uh, in some of the Eastern parts of the world and uh, in Egypt and other places like that. So this for me is by far the scariest aspect of the solar micronova. Um, pretty devastating, especially given electricity's effect on water. Uh, the resulting tsunamis in the Pacific should be pretty fantastic. Um, yeah, that would be my scariest aspect of the solar micronova right there. The part that is facing the earth when that nova shell actually hits, taking the cosmic discharge downward. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.